Welcome to Boss Properties. If you're watching this video, this means that either I reached out to you and I'm sending you this video for further explanation or maybe word of mouth, or hey, maybe you found me through the magic of the YouTube algorithm. Today, I'm gonna tell you about an opportunity you can have to work with my company on a commission base with Boss Properties. What is that opportunity? is being a referral agent. We're gonna talk about that, but first let's talk about the requirements. You're gonna to have to go through real estate school, but if you talk to me, I can get you set up with a seminar in Keller Williams and they will pay for your school. The total startup cost after you're done will be about $150 through licensing fees, uh, for getting fingerprinted in a background check. And of course you have to pay about 60 bucks to take the test. So $200 max, you can get into the game. And I will make you a deal. If you get through real estate school in only one month, I will pay all of those fees for you. You might hear agents talking about, no, you're gonna have to spend a thousand dollars to join the board of realtors and get your super lockbox and pay, pay uh, these big fees. No, listen, you're not gonna have to pay those because you're not gonna be a real agent. You're gonna be a referral agent. And hey, if you've enjoyed being a referral agent and you wanna go big time and, and be a, a real agent, you can do that as well. But let me explain why it's so valuable to be a referral agent. In real estate, if another agent were to refer me a client, I'm gonna pay them a 25% referral fee, that's standard. So let me do some math for you. So the average median sale price in this general area of Springfield, Ozark, Nixa is about $265,000. That's the average. My commission on that would be $8,000. The referral fee on that would be 25%. So that's $2,000 if you referred me the business. Stay tuned though, watch this. We gotta pay the uh, the Keller Williams fees, so it ends up being a $1,300 just for giving me the referral. And let's say you give me one referral every single week. That's $5,000 or over $60,000. Now I know what you're thinking. Grayson, how in the world am I going to give you referrals? Now I have a whole document sitting right in front of me talking about how to uh, lead generate. This is basically your job, a full-time lead generation referral agent for Boss Properties. Now what you're about to watch is another YouTube video that I just made talking about all of the different lead generation tactics. We're gonna go through the numbers. We're gonna go through how much you can make with only two referrals a week. We're gonna go through everything you need to know, all the requirements, and basically how easy it is to make an exponential amount of money working for yourself with Boss Properties. You set your schedule. You can work part-time on weekends only. You can do whatever you want. I don't care because it's commission-based. I want you to work hard in every day because I want you to make the most amount of money because when you make money, I make money. So stay tuned. It's a little bit long, but check out this video on all the different lead generation strategies. And by the end of it, you're gonna be like, hey, if I can get started with this for free and I have all this, uh, the, the, you, you have the best lead generation plan in all of real estate at your fingertips, there's no reason you can't make a bunch of money in your first year. I've had my license for two months and I'll make $11,000 in real estate commissions alone this month. Stay tuned and good luck. So number one is what everybody talks about and that's hosting open houses. Now, as you can see, there is a minimum per month. Now that isn't something that I expect the agents that I'm working with to do under my company boss properties. Um, I told them, hey, do whatever you want. It's performance based, whatever. I'd like you to do this, but this is um, the, the company goal. If you're working with boss properties, which I do have a, a, another agent with me and two more, three more coming very soon once they get out of real estate school, this will be our target to hit is two per month um, per agent. And then if you have access to the MLS, you're probably familiar with the portal function. I have the Flex MLS and you can do a portal because you know you wanna get a client, set up the portal so that way they can see listings through the MLS. But what you need to do is set up a portal for yourself. I have an email notification, I'll pop it up on the screen here. Every single time there is a new listing in my preferred price range, um, I get an open house potential notification. Basically, I see every single new house in the market that's in a decent price range, and I can reach out to the agent and ask to host a open house. Now, why does hosting open houses work? Long story short, only one person can buy a house. You might have 10 prospects walking in the door. One can buy it. Well, that's nine other people who are looking to buy a house. You're hosting the open house, you hand out your cards, you have potential, you know, nine or one or two or maybe even zero people walking in. Now I've heard of agents hosting an open house where everybody already has an agent and then it's like, okay, well I wasted my time. But then my partner actually hosted an open house, got a bunch of leads and one of the leads has an $800,000 budget. So as you can see, getting an open house is a great way to work a couple hours on the weekends as many times as you want to get some free leads. Now moving on to YouTube. Now this is pretty self-explanatory, but you create a business profile and you're not looking to be a YouTuber, not like what I'm doing here. Um, but simple videos like uh, you would make 
week, market updates, homes for sale in the area, goodbyes, um, you know, home buying myths, uh, stuff that's low, uh, that that's targeted to your local demographic, homes for sale in Springfield, Missouri, uh, market statistics, here's how the market's performing, should you buy or should you invest or should you sell investment opportunities, whatever, just local, local, hyper local uh, YouTube videos. So when people type in homes for sales, agents uh, in Springfield, Missouri, because you got to think Google is the number one search engine. What's number two? YouTube. Who owns YouTube? Google. So you're going to be able to hack the SEO system and get to the top of people's minds when they're typing in real estate in your local area. Another one is door knocking. Now this is kind of uh, different because I don't door knock. I don't, I don't like door knocking. I do other lead gen stuff, uh, but my partner door knocks all day, every day. And in fact, um, I sold a house, the house that I'm closing, that I'm getting the $8,000 commission on. Um, that house is closing in a couple of weeks. I told him, his name is Jake Rapp, another agent with Boss Properties. I was like, hey, go to that house, walk around the neighborhood since you like door knocking, knock on the doors and say, hey, my name is Jake Rapp. I'm a real estate agent with Boss Properties. I just wanted to give you the common courtesy of uh, letting you know that the house just down the street sold and within 24 hours for over asking. And I just wanted to pass that information along to you in case you were ever thinking about moving or pulling the equity out of your home. Cause a lot of people gained a lot of equity in the past few years in their homes, um, whatever it might be. And right now I am in an apartment complex. It's a massive apartment complex, probably a thousand units. I'm actually moving to a house, uh, I think this month or something like that. Um, and well, actually now that I think about it, yeah, I'm, I'm getting paid for another deal. So that would be another three grand. I'm doing a flat fee. So nine, 10, 11. Okay. So I'll have $12,000 in commissions uh, this month alone. And I've only had my license for like two months. Anyway, I'm not going to go door knocking um, at this apartment complex since I'm a resident, but my partner, he's going to come here. We're going to print some door hangers hanging on every door here because I don't want to get in trouble since I live here, but who cares? You know, it, worst case scenario, they tell them to knock it off. But if you have a thousand door hangers on this giant apartment complex, you can do this in all the apartment complexes. This is a, a plan we're going to roll out here very soon once we get the door hangers in the mail. But think about it. Every single person in an apartment complex doesn't own a home. They're all potential clients. You get them on the phone, you set them up with a good loan program so they can get F FHA, 3.5% down. Maybe they qualify for conventional, 3% down, seller concessions. You get them into the house for as cheap as possible on a good deal. And you get to pitch them on the idea of, you know, you get to own your home. The interest on your mortgage is tax deductible. You get appreciation and you get loan pay down. Door knocking can be more than just randomly door knocking. If you sold a house in the area, go tell the neighbors about it. They'll appreciate it more than just a regular door knock somewhere else. If you have an apartment complex, door knocking might not be the best, but door hangers could be good. But if you're in a neighborhood, door hangers might be seen as spam or whatever, and homeowners will throw it away. But people in apartment complexes have the dream of owning their own home. So once we get the door hangers in the mail, we'll have at least a thousand potential customers at our fingertips. Networking, reach out to other professionals in your area. My father owns a law firm. So of course he's a lawyer. I refer to him law business because real estate and law go hand in hand. And he in exchange will be returning the uh, the business from his law firm who needs real estate needs. As you can see, it's a good uh, situation. I am friends with a couple mortgage brokers. Hey, I'm gonna send my buyers to use you as their broker. You send anybody you know who needs real estate needs and uh, vice versa. And I'm working on building my network of other professionals where we can kind of create a little bit of a lead group. Next is your sphere of influence. This is probably the first thing that people tell you to do when you first become an agent, but they don't really go into any detail. You don't want to spam your family, your mom, your grandma, your dad, your, your, your grandpa, your cousin. Hey, you looking to buy or sell a home? No, they're not. But let me give you, give you an example of how working your sphere of influence you can work it creatively and get free customers when you didn't think that they would be a customer and they didn't either. I'm going to give you an example. My grandma lives in a three bedroom, two bath home in Nixon, Missouri for $800 a month. That house could easily rent for $1,600, $1,700 a month. And the fact the landlord was going to kick her out, sell the house and run away with her equity. But my grandma had nowhere else to go because the apartment complex I live in is $1,200 a month for a two bedroom, two bath. She's paying $800 for a three bedroom, two bath house Finston yard, great neighborhood with a shed. So you can see where I'm getting at this. She had uh, basically no budget. She's on a fixed social security income and uh, she was basically screwed freaking out. She's gonna have to go live in some shithole, uh, which she didn't wanna do and no one wanted her to do that. Luckily her landlord let her stay for another year or two, but in a year or two, she's gonna have that same problem. And here is how I worked my sphere of influence and gained a free customer. Oh, and she had an $800 security deposit and she can't afford um, a down payment. So he here was a solution I proposed to her. A USDA loan is uh, basically designed to get people 
people in, with lower income in rural areas into home ownership with 0% down. And the qualifications is you have to make less than 115% of the median income in that area. And the area has to have less than 33,000 in population. Well, the area she lives in has 22,000 in population and she makes less than 115% of the annual income. She's on a little bit of social security. So that solves the problem with getting 0% down, but $800 a month. I did the math. Even with interest rates today, you could buy a you know low $100,000 house, which is not necessarily that hard to do uh, in this area for around where she wants to keep her, uh, her, her rent payment, her mortgage payment around $800. Now, of course, you would say, hey, what about closing costs? There's closing costs. Closing costs on a house of that price range really isn't going to be that much. And even then we can negotiate seller concessions and what the sellers don't want to uh, uh, pay for, uh, she will get her $800 deposit back from her rental property. So we have $800 to work with. That's basically how I got a free client that's gonna uh, buy a new home in one to two years and I can even use the, she's friends with the landlord. I can use the landlord to leverage that relationship with my grandma, my grandma to the landlord to sell that home as well. So basically I just got two free customers by providing value to my sphere of influence. Providing value is different than spamming them. Now moving on to SEO, we're talking about YouTube and uh, but mostly a Google blog. I currently have a blog right now about how to make money online. It's called let's make wifi money.com. And uh, basically it's the same thing as YouTube. You're just taking advantage of people typing in homes for sale, market statistics in Nixon, Missouri, uh, real estate agents in Springfield, Missouri. And you just wanna capture as much of that internet traffic as possible because it's free. And then down here, I just have a little merchandise tab. Um, you know, this is a, a not really a lead generation thing, but it could be, you know, let's say uh, we get someone into a home and uh, the first day they move in on closing or whatever, um, I give them a fruit basket with a really, really nice high-end Boss Properties hat or a Boss Property water bottle or a, a really, really, you know, like a $100 hydro flask, something that people are genuinely going to, to use, not just throw away like a mouse pad or a, a calendar or something stupid, a real product wrapped around something that they're actually going to use, like a fruit basket, for example, or a, a cleaning supplies if it's the first time home buyer or whatever. But make sure they're actually going to use the product you give them and not just throw it away because you want to make it look good because people can be like, oh, I love that 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 mug. I love that that wallet. I, I love your water bottle. I love your hat. Uh, this really cool shirt or pair of pants or whatever. Where did you get it? Well, I got it from my real estate agent. Hey, I know someone who's looking to sell a house. You see where I'm getting with. Not spamming them with shitty mouse pads or anything like that, but actually, you know, once again, providing value. Now, I know this is probably a long video, but here is the part that I'm most excited about. You can bring on referral agents. I'm 21 years old and a lot of my friends, in fact, all of them are basically like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life. Um, you know, I didn't go to college or some of them are about to get it out of college and they're like, I don't want a job. I wanna make a bunch of money. This is where I come in. Referral agents. So basically for boss properties, I'm gonna say like I've got three people in the pipeline right now uh, about to go through real estate school. Here's the deal. The average sale price right now in Springfield, Missouri, where I live, is $265,000. Technically, it's a little bit lower, but Nixa, the next town over, is $325,000, so I'm doing a, a average home price of the whole area. So let's take $265,000 times my 3% commission. That's $8,000. I have not capped at Keller Williams yet, so I have to pay 30% plus a 6% royalty fee. But a referral agent would make, let's see, 25%, $2,000, but paying all their full fees, $13,000, $1,300 per referral. Where am I getting at this? If you give me one referral every single week, you'll make $5,000 or over $60,000 a year after all fees are paid. Now, what am I getting at? Okay, yeah, referrals are great. Well, what these people are going to be doing for my business is they're going to be working in my office full full time, part time and and whatever they want to do. But they're going to do all of these lead generation tactics. They're going to print out personally branded business cards. They're going to print out personally branded door hangers, go make hanging runs, uh, you know, go host open houses, basically full time focusing on lead generation, not practicing real estate. That's my and my partner's job. But their entire business or their entire job in my business is to completely get referrals, right? That's the exact same thing that I'm going to be doing. But when I get a referral, I'm going to be bogged down with the day-to-day -day works of the transaction. Not them. They get a client, move on. If that closes, they get their paycheck. So let's do the math again. As you can see, only one per week, if you're working full-time, making 5K without actually doing any real work, just lead generation. But if you were to get two a week, that means you would make $10,000 a month after fees 
or in other words, $122,000 without really doing anything at all real estate wise besides lead generation. So there you have it, everything you need to know, the startup cost, the requirements going through real estate school and how I'll pay it for you if you go through it in a month and also the best lead generation plan at your fingertips. That's all I've got for you today. Welcome to Voss Properties and I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon.